In our first video, we established that five of Taiwan's major cities making up 58% of Taiwan's population showed a positive correlation, proving that the election was rigged due to ballot stuffing and ballot theft. Here are the five cities in separate graphs, New Taipei City, Taizong, Kaohsiung, Taoyuan, and Tainan. In this video, I'd like to take a look at the Taoyuan graph. Taoyuan is the only area among these five cities that shows very little ballot theft against Han Goryu and the KMT party, which is on the x-axis, as almost all of the dots, which are areas in Taoyuan, are to the right of one. To recap from the first video, a relative support rate is the 2020 results divided by the 2018 results in one area. Therefore, one equals no change, less than one equals a loss of support, greater than one means a gain in support. So unlike all the other areas, Taoyuan is the only city that showed a gain in support for the KMT in most of the areas. Based on the increase in support we see for the KMT in the Taoyuan area, we can make an estimate of the national increase in support for the KMT and the national decrease in support for the DPP. The official 2020 Taoyuan results were Tsai 718,260 ballots, Han 529,749 ballots, and Song 63,132 ballots. The relative support rate increase for the KMT was 29.63% and the relative support rate increase for the DPP was 26.91%. It is very unlikely in any area that both parties would increase their support by approximately the same amount. This would suggest that Taoyuan's positive correlation was mostly due to ballot stuffing for the DPP. Let's look at the 2018 official results for Taoyuan. The DPP gained 552,330 ballots, the KMT got 407,234 ballots, and independent candidates got 73,585 ballots. Now, out of these 73,585 independent ballots, 63,132 can be assigned to James Song for the 2020 election. That leaves 10,453 ballots to be distributed to the KMT and DPP. Based on our national average of support, 54.92% of that total can be assigned to the KMT for a total of 5,741 ballots, and 45.8% of that total can be assigned to the DPP for 4,712 ballots. Therefore, the weighted KMT support is 412,975, and the weighted DPP support is 557,042 ballots. The nationwide indicator of increase in KMT support can be found in Taoyuan. The average increase in KMT RSR support in Taoyuan is 29.6335352%. And once again, you can find the KMT RSR increase average for Taoyuan by scrolling down on the column for KMT RSR in the Taoyuan area. The links for all the data were given in the first video, which I have linked in the description. So if we take the official support rate in 2018 for the KMT of 407,234 ballots and we increase that by 29.63%, we get 527,912 ballots, which is less than the official total of 529,749 ballots received for Hungary in 2020. So we can determine the approximate increase in KMT support by taking the weighted support rate of the KMT in 2018 of 412,975 ballots plus 28.2 percent to receive 529,434 ballots, which is just below the official support rate for Hangori of 529,749 ballots. Therefore, the approximate increase in Taoyuan for KMT support is 28.2 percent from 2018 to 2020. Taoyuan is the only known area with data analyzed that appears to have little to no ballot theft, so the increase of 28.2% can be applied nationwide to determine the January 11, 2020 results. These are the estimated totals for 2020 in Taoyuan. We know that the KMT received 529,749 ballots. For the DPP, we have 557,042 ballots which we subtract 28.2% to get 
to obtain a total of 399,956 ballots, which is the approximate ballot count for Tsai and Taoyuan. And finally, we have 63,132 ballots for James Song. So 28.2% is our national indicator of the actual rise of KMT support and decrease in DPP support in the 2020 presidential election. The weighted total for the KMT in 2018 was 6,541,749 ballots. The weighted total for the DPP in 2018 was 5,000,000. 356,389 ballots, and the independent ballots reserved for James Song are 608,590 ballots. To see how I came up with the weighted totals for the KMT and the DPP in 2018, you can refer to the link in the description. So to estimate the 2020 nationwide results, we can take the weighted total for the KMT in 2018 of 6,541,749 ballots and increase that amount by 28.2% to receive a grand total of 8,386,522 ballots for Hungary in 2020. For the DPP, we can take the weighted total in 2018 of 5,356,389 ballots and subtract 28.2% to receive a grand total of 3,845,000 887 ballots for Tsai Ing-wen. So the estimated 2020 presidential election results are Hungary 8.3 million, Tsai Ing-wen 3.8 million, and James Song officially received 608,590 ballots. Total number of valid ballots estimated are 12,840,999 ballots. Invalid ballots received officially are 163,631 ballots. Total ballots are 13 million. 4,630 ballots. Total eligible voters are 19,311,105 and the turnout rate has now been reduced to 67.34%. So the percentage breakdown is 65.31% for Hangori, 29.95% for Tsai Ing-wen, and 4.74% for James Song. To make a comparison with the official results, once we subtract Hangori's estimated total of 8.3 million ballots with his 5.5 million official ballots. We get a total of 2,864,403 ballots subtracted or stolen from Hangori in this election. For the DPP, we have an official total of 8,170,231 ballots minus 3,845,887 ballots for a grand total of 4 million 324,344 ballots added or stuffed for Tsai Ing-wen in this election. The total number of rigged ballots is 7,188,747 ballots. Our official turnout rate of 74.9% can be subtracted from our estimated turnout rate of 67.34%, which gives us an additional 7.56% additional turnout rate in this election. If we take the official number of valid ballots cast of 14,300,940 and subtract that by 12,840,999 ballots, we get a total of 1,459,941 additional ballots cast. We can determine that Hangori had 22.3% deducted from his total and Tsai Ing-wen had 33.67% added to her total. Thank Thank 
，谢谢大家，谢谢，敬敬请大家稍微冷静一下。我知道大家的心情非常的激动，我也知道海内外非常多朋友现在心情都非常的激动。但是，请大家务必冷静下来，听我跟大家简短扼要的报告。刚才我已经打电话给蔡英文总统，跟他祝贺，他获得台湾人民最新的授权，未来四年。在，谢谢，请大家冷静，我跟大家报告完毕。谢谢大家。请大家务必冷静，我讲一些心里的话。非常感谢大家的帮忙、支持跟爱护、鼓励，非常感谢。但是，台湾最宝贵的民主、自由、法治，是我们无上的珍宝。既然中华民国的国民，大家做出的决定，我们身为参选人，我们一定服从。选举的结果，非常感谢大家。我只能说，我个人努力不够，辜负大家对我的期待。再者，要拜托，再一次拜托大家，也要跟所有各位现场的所有的好朋友，以及我们所有中华民国国民。一起来共同勉励的是，无论如何，明天起来，我们还是希望见到一个团结的台湾。不管各行各业，不管山边海角，我们人人在自己岗位上努力奋发。全世界最爱台湾的，就是我们台湾人。我们自己一定要努力的往前打拼。世界不会等待台湾的，我们自己要自立自强。也在这里，要呼吁蔡英文总统，未来获得新的执政四年的授权，能够真正一心一意为台湾人民开创幸福、快乐、安居乐业的好日子。我想，这是我们参与民主，我们应该有的胸襟跟气度。在这里，除了祝福他之外，也要勤勉他。我相信这也是广大台湾人民大家共同的期待，能够过一个安居乐业的好日子。的确，大家有一段时间过得很辛苦，期待了未来，台湾会更棒、更美好。各位好朋友，各位兄弟姐妹，让我们一起来努力。星期一，我会继续回到市政府上班，农历年要到。必须要抓紧高雄市的治安工作、物价的工作，还有各个观光风景区的环境工作等等。我要继续去执行我肩膀上的责任。在这里再一次感谢所有爱护我的好朋友们，让我们一起来为台湾加油，为中华民国加油！祝福大家，再次感谢，谢谢。晚上，我们要谢谢台湾人民的勇气，我要谢谢台湾人民的坚持。各位，蔡英文守住了。我们一起守住的这块自由的土地，我们一起。守住了这一个民主的堡垒，拿下八百一十七万票数创新高。总统蔡英文向台下支持者致意，强调台湾人民在全世界面前再一次展现了尊严与自信。讲到激动处，还数度哽咽，更表示选举之后要大家握手言和，彼此包容。我也相信，全世界的民主国家以及很多的香港的朋友
都会为我们今天集体的决定感到高兴。大家说是不是？国民党赢也是民主，亲民党赢也是民主。台湾人民最引以为傲的是，从来都不是特定政党的胜利。台湾人民最感到骄傲的是。是我们总是在每一次的民主选举之后握手言和，彼此鼓励，彼此包容。蔡英文特别感谢年轻选民用各种方式返乡投票，是勇敢的台湾一娜。我要特别感谢所有的年轻朋友。我知道有些人特地从国外飞回来，只为了投我一票。我还知道大家今天在投票的时候，投票盖章都特别小心，特别用力。甚至有些人的手还在发抖，生怕一不小心就变成了废票。这个就是民主的重量，就是自由的滋味。If anyone has an issue with the inauguration that is going to be held tomorrow morning on May 20th, you can meet me at Zio Guangzhong or Freedom Plaza tomorrow at 8 a.m. Thank you.